Okay. I think we're live. All right, you guys. So I am pumped to share with you these new polishes coming from Glam Polish on Friday. So in this thumbnail, what you're looking at is actually two new limited edition launches, um, two new collections, totally different themed and totally different formulas, as you can see. So across the top and halfway through the bot through the middle row, we have the Greek Gods collection. Those polishes are all inspired by the Greek Gods, and each polish has ultra hollow glitter. You can see the little silver micro glitters. They all have really beautiful dense shimmers. And then the second half of that second row going to the bottom, this collection is all inspired by the Little Mermaid. This is the Life is the Bubbles collection. And all of these polishes have neon glitter mixes. They have a more traditional glitter Corelli formula. And I believe they all or almost all have um, either a micro flaky, like a teeny tiny micro flaky, or an iridescent flaky. So we're going to swatch both collections today because they both launch on Friday, May 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's their regular launch time. Um, I linked in the description bar below. Hi, hi, early birds. Welcome. I linked in the description bar below, as I always do, the website where you can go to shop. These were sent to me for review, but all opinions are my own, as always, and I have no affiliations with this brand nor any other brand. So we're going to do a live swatch so you can see how these apply on my natural nails and give you an approximation of what the experience will likely be like for you. I'm going to do two coats of everything today in alphabetical order. First, we're going to go through the Greek God Greek Gods collection, and then the Life is the Bubbles collection. And all of the images up here as well are two coats. And that's all the macro shots for you. And I have individual shots of everything as well. My nails are cleaned off and ready to go. Wow. Siri just thought that that whole thing that I just said was all a message for her. And she was, you know, looking at all of it and being like, okay, let me listen to every little thing you say. And then I will not have an answer for you. Okay, so we're going to get going. As I mentioned in yesterday's videos, uh, video, my nails just had a really nice, big, healthy chop. And so you're going to be looking at these polishes on long nails in the pictures, but you're going to also get to see how they look on short nails today um, in the live swatch, which is actually, I think, pretty helpful because it gets, it shows you, you know, what it would look like and swatch like for a long nail and short nail individual. So, oops, I pulled the wrong collection. We're starting with the Greek Gods collection. So how's everybody doing? Happy, uh, I almost said Wednesday. That was kind of wishful thinking that it was Wednesday because I really want Mass Singer. Um, I think, is this week the finale? I'm really, really excited. Hi, friends. Come on in. Settle on in. We're talking glam polish. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me pull up the... Website. Also in the description bar below, along with the brand's website, you will find the promo codes for saving either 5% off of individual shades for the first 72 hours after launch. So through Sunday, no, 72 hours. That's three days. Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Anyway, through Sunday. Um, there's promo codes to save 5% off individual shades or 10% off of full collections. That does not include the interstellar duo okay i'm putting these in alphabetical order real quick okay i love both of these collections and they're both very different from each other so that's really fun okay we're gonna start with aries no we're starting with apollo <laughs> psych we're not starting with aries okay apollo is a red orange jelly with aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter so all of the polishes in this in this first collection have the shimmer that runs. It's a really beautiful metallic shimmer. Um, I ha I've enjoyed using it so much actually this year and it's really multi-dimensional. It's the one that goes gold, green, aqua. It's in all of these, I believe. Some of them I can't quite see the aqua, but that just might be, um, you know, how it's looking for me right now, but I believe all of them are that one. This one's a little bit looking like it might have a red shimmer. So it either has it either has the gold green aqua 
with the emphasis on the gold and green or has the red green gold so all right i don't have hollow shots for any of these but this collection just has the hollow glitters as you can see um and that hollow essence is showing up a little bit in the macro shot so uh, but I do have two images for each of the polishes in the Great Goddess collection on my full hands because I wanted to show you the shimmer as I pulled out from the direct light because you can see a little bit more of the shifty to green to aqua as I pulled away from the lighting. So this first one is Apollo and it's divine. It's a red orange so it's a really really warm yummy yummy red and I love it. Next we have my favorite in the collection and this one is the orange shade and the green gold aqua looks so cool in this polish and it's just so hot. It's just like on fire on your nail. It's so, so cool. So Aries says golden burnt orange jelly with Aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitters. And this one just ended up being my favorite. It's the most unique. So I loved this one. I was crazy about how that green to aqua looked in this kind of marigold color so so great so this one is Aries and they're all going to swatch the same sorry I didn't pop the picture of Aries up there for you let me show you it just was like so hot fire in two coats on my nails next up we have Dionysus and this one is the Deep Indigo. And it's described as actually as a dark grape crelly with Aurora Shimmer and Ultra Hollow Glitters. Okay, mm, loving how this skittle is looking so far. Then next we have Hades. Hades is described as a blue-gray crelly with Aurora Shimmer and Ultra Hollow Glitter. Hades is in my puzzle I'm working on right now. I'm working on a Disney villain puzzle, and Hades is all over that puzzle. And he actually has, I never noticed the animation before, but he has like this really long chin that goes like to the side. It's really weird. I was like you know when you're putting pieces together you notice these little small details and I was like what the heck is this and I looked on the um I call it the cheat sheet but you know how they give you a a page inside that looks like the puzzle so you know what where everything goes essentially if you can find the little minute detail and I was like this is your chin Hades what the heck is up with your chin so anyway here's the first four shades I'm just really really in love with this collection I really like the Little Mermaid collection as well but I think that out of the two I will end up wearing these shades more but I really love both the Little Mermaid collection I'm going back through doing second coats of everything the Little Mermaid collection features glitter curly mixes which are really really fun they're heavily dense with glitters and they're in kind of what, like um, mermaid colors. We have teals and blues and um, purples. So it's really, really fun. But I just, I guess I'm just feeling the power of these Greek god shimmers. Okay, second coat of Dionysus. Am I saying that right, you guys? Dionysus. Dionysus, ooh, yeah. That's his jingle. Your mom and you love doing jigsaw puzzles. Yay, Kayla. My mom loves jigsaw puzzles too. That's where I got my love for them from. And I have a designated space in my house now for jigsaw puzzles, which I've always, always, always wanted to have. And I don't have any kids that are so young that like it's literally fun to go up to mom's puzzle table and throw all the pieces on the floor. That's not a thing in my life right now. So you're really into oranges lately. You need this beautiful orange. Hi, Riley. Both of these could like kind of categorize as oranges, but just look at how that shimmer shows off in the lighter one. It's just so cool. 
Red is really tricky. The fact that she got any shimmer to show off at all tells you there's so much shimmer in all of these. But red hides shimmer. It's kind of mean like that. You can dump so much shimmer in there and it'll hide it. Um, <laughs> so she really adds a lot of components to her polishes. You're getting your money's worth with this brand. It's one that I definitely feel that way about. She just really packs it in. So I'm going to remove these first two because we have two more. Actually, I'm going to remove all of them because we're going to be moving on to the Under the Sea collection. I just called it the Under the Sea collection, but it's not. It's the Life is the Bubbles collection. We got to go to the Under the Sea dance where my parents will kiss and fall in love. Okay. Do, 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 do. I've been listening to this playlist in the morning when I'm uh, doing my bike ride and it's called 2010's EDM. So it's all stuff that's like a little bit familiar to me, but I haven't listened to it in a while, but it's a lot of dead Mao and, um, Skrillex. <laughs> so I have those songs stuck in my head. Okay, you guys, I got a notification from, I think it was Funko, that yesterday was halfway to Halloween, but I don't think that's accurate. It's, yesterday was only like five months till Halloween. I mean, then that's not even technically correct because it wasn't the 31st, so I don't know what was the deal with that promotional, you know, it was just like a reason to send out another email. I'm sorry, but there are brands that I get two to three emails from every single day. <laughs> It's like, guys, this is overkill. Um, but even though I counted up the, the months and it's not actually six months till Halloween, um, it's even closer than that, right? June, May to June to July to August, September, October. It's only five months. It got me really excited <laughs> for Halloween. Isn't that silly? I got so excited for Halloween. Okay, sorry, my glasses looked dirty, so I took a second to clean them. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, these are so pretty. They just, they glow so fiercely. Okay, we're going to move on to Poseidon. Poseidon is like a deep version of this one you're looking at right now. Poseidon is just a little bit deeper, richer Hades. It's not grayed out. So it's a really beautiful teal. Let me read the Deep Teal Crelly with Aurora Shimmer and Ultra Ball Glitter. I've decided that this brand loves teals and loves purples. I think that must be her favorite color. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I like glam polish so much because I also love teals and I love purples. Okay. Ooh, that one's so pretty too. So pretty. Next we have Zeus. Zeus, you're all you're excited for Halloween too. You can't wait to do Halloween nail art and use Halloween colors on my nails. Yes. Okay, last up we have Zeus. I will change the picture for you in just a second. But Zeus is a silver. And then you can really see all of that beautiful shimmer because you've got a blank canvas. Silver hollow with Aurora Shimmer and Ultra Hollow Glitter. And it's so beautiful. Okay. Moving on to the Life is the Bubbles collection. Collection. Okay, got them in alphabetical order. We're going to start with the purple. Um... There we go. Daughters of Triton. That's what we're going to start with is we are the Daughters of Triton. I always wished that the Little Mermaid, like, I'm not at the right age group to actually watch a series about the Little Mermaid, but I always wished that the original film expanded a little bit more on the sisters because I found them so interesting. And there was barely they're barely in there for like a second maybe the new Disney live action 
Little Mermaid. We'll show the sisters a little bit more. Okay, so this is Daughters of Triton, described as a lavender curly with pink and aqua glitter mix and shifting iridescent flake haze. And I think they are pink, gold, green. Next, you have, hi, Janista. Hi, Lisa. You already have some Halloween Manny ideas? That's so fun. Let me get through 4th of July. No, we must have madness and mayhem and spookiness. Uh, don't be such a guppy. This one is so, so cute. Neon yellow curly with blue and aqua glitter mix and a hint of tiny blue flakes. So the hint of tiny blue flakes, I believe it kind of like brings this color over into a green because on like it totally looks green to me. See my green screen? My green screen thinks this is a green polish. Um, here it is. It doesn't look yellow to me, but I think that's because there's so much blue in here with the blue glitters and the blue micro flakies. I've had yellow neons do that to me before. And it's not that the components are bleeding into the polish. It's almost like an optical illusion. Look at that macro shot though. Look at all the good yummy goodness that she piled into that neon yellow. Ah, love it. Her glitter curlies are so fun and so complicated. You can watch The Little Mermaid the Musical on YouTube. The musical version has Ariel's sisters. How fun. Sparkling silver curls. See you later. Bye, bye, bye. I should have brought my water in here, guys. I am parched. Parched. I'm going to finish up and go drink a gallon of water here in a minute. Okay, back to Poseidon. Poseidon is so yummy. Don't let that go to your head, Poseidon. Deep teal with gold green aqua shimmer so if you're just popping in these polishes we're looking at are from glam polish they're launching this friday may 28th at 2 p.m eastern standard time both collections are limited editions so i'm not sure how long they'll stay around but most of the brand's collections i've noticed say limited edition on them and then are still around on their website because i'm a little bit behind on posting on my instagram so i always go check and make sure that things are still in stock before I um, post them and promote them on my Instagram because I don't want you guys to be like, I can't even get that. Thanks so much. And their polishes seem to be around for a while. So you might have luck finding some of their stuff from the past four to five months there as well. Okay, like I said, I only did two coats on any of these polishes we're looking at today. Only two coats. And even though the Crellies are pretty squishy, she has so much glitter and flakies in there that it builds up in opacity and looks really nice in two coats. So that was Daughters of Triton and the second coat of Don't Be Such a Guppy. And it's the colors of Flounder. I just realized right in this second. <laughs> I'm such a dork. It's the colors of Flounder. It's so cute. I have a straight up neon yellow color club and I put a green flaky topper on top and it turned green. See? See what I'm saying? You do need Aries bite sized. You do need it. Your fave is purple as usual, Janista. We're in the purple club. Do, 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 do. My watch says I've only taken 406 steps today. That's, that can't be possible. Okay, I'm taking these off. Oh, I love Zeus so much. It's so pretty. Zeus is like North Pole Glow, but instead of the red, gold, green shimmer, it's the um, blue, gold to slightly, or uh, gold, green, slightly aqua shimmer. And I miss North Pole Glow. I think we'll have to bring it back next, next Christmas. What do you guys want to see back for MSM comeback for uh, June? So Honors Cotton Candy is coming back this Friday. I need you guys to go back into that uh, post in the Facebook group and re-vote. Re-thumbs up people's suggestions because it's time for me to pick for June what's going to be coming back. So I got to gotta decide. I'm kind of thinking maybe a polish from the... Uh, Wonder Woman collection, but I want to see what you guys are interested in. 
Okay. All right, four polishes left. So we have these left. So we're gonna look, I think this one is a white, but it looks like a very light aqua. And then we have two aquas. And then can you guess what this dark purple is inspired by? Can we say Ursula vibes? Ursula vibes. Yes, we can. Okay, the lightest one. The lightest one is called Gadgets and Gizmos Aplenty. And it does say it's a white crelly with bright rainbow glitter mix and a hint of tiny blue flakes. And I think that those blue flakes, again, are making this polish appear like a very light aqua. In any case, it is soups, soups pretty. But don't think of this one as like a bright white crelly. It's more like a sea crelly. Then next we have life under the sea is better. So out of the two, the two aquas, they look really, really similar. I'm gonna swatch the one that's slightly less green leaning first. And this one has a whole mix of neon dots. And the other one has primarily blue and pink neon glitters with iridescent flakies. So, all right, life under the sea is better. Do, 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 do. Oh, thanks, Kate. I gotta go take a look. Your mystery bag gave you your first glam polish. Tika, that's wonderful. Oh, let me switch the image. Yay, glam. I would hang on to every glam if I could. Honestly, they're just like little works of art in a bottle. That's really how I feel about glam. That's why I've been collecting them and swatching for this brand for so long because I'm just such a fan. But I can't hang on to everything or I would be actually drowning in nail polish. What a problem to have drowning in nail polish. So... My solution is to send it to you guys so you guys can enjoy it. Okay, next we have the girl who has everything question mark. The girl who has everything. Oh, Janista. That was so sweet. Okay, next is the slightly greenier aqua with the blue and pink glitters. That was me kind of like making it up, <laughs> trying to squish more polish on that nail without swiping down because I didn't want to move any glitters. And then last we have, oh, I didn't change it. I didn't change the image. Okay, this one was the girl who has everything question mark, question mark. And then we have the sea witch. Do, 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 do. It was a green polish called Diana Prince. It was a blue polish called Diana Prince. It was a blue linear hollow. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. It was a blue linear hollow. In that collection, there was a red, blue, and gold for Wonder Woman colors. But I was using different hollow back then. So I would have to take a look and see what the closest facsimile would be these days. Okay. You guys, is all your birthdays are coming up? That's so fun. Oh, thanks, Jessica. I'm so glad. Another D-stash, more grab bags? No, we don't have more grab bags right now. Maybe at Christmas time. I just sent them all out, guys. They are all out of here. So what we'll do is just store up polishes for another six months, and then we'll have another D-stash. Okay, so here's two coats of boop, 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 boop. Gadgets and gizmos. Boom, 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 boom. 
<laughs> I know. I think I saw your name, Connie, and it was in green, and I was like, it's green. <laughs> oh. We will have more D-stash bags. As long as I'm swatching polishes, there will always be more D-stash. <laughs> Yours is in December. The name of the purple is the Sea Witch. I'm going to pop back up this one because I didn't have it up there very long. You guys can see that macro, that the beautiful um, contrast of the base color with the glitters and then the flakies and how it just all swims together. See how you can see the first layer underneath the second layer? <sighs> Jelly squishy crellies are so good. Squishy crellies just looks like you crafted yourself a jelly sandwich but very little effort because it's all in the polish <laughs> so you just have to paint it on in two coats and you have yourself a beautiful jelly sandwich okay no problem Kate thanks for letting me know because I would have wondered on Saturday actually usually I sit down about Friday morning to ship out you guys' prizes and then I start looking for emails to be honest Friday morning. This one gets so deep and inky. I love it for Ursula so much. So Ursula on my puzzle, she's like sitting like this and she's holding like the, the thing with the voice in it with her creepy face. But then she has like, it's like her whole arm and back and she's gray. She's just gray. <laughs> and so I have a massive amount of like almost all the same color of gray Kind of like how this looks right now in front of you. Gray puzzle pieces that I have to fit together. <laughs> I did most of the pieces of the puzzle that are like easy to recognize what it is. And now I just have like masses of gray, masses of black. You know how it goes. But I love the whole process of puzzles, not just the, the easy part. This one's been tricky, I have to admit. I think I got it at Barnes & Noble. Either Barnes & Noble or Amazon. Okay, friends, let me put back up the whole image of all the macro shots so you can enjoy that some more. So there are all the polishes we just swatched. I hope that you found this helpful to deciding what you need. And if you're not going to shop this weekend, hopefully the ones you like will still be there when you stop in to the Glam Polish website and pick up a few new goodies. And they just always are so fun. They are so fun. They're definitely glam, but they're really, really fun. It's a fun brand. so, And they're an Aussie brand, if you didn't know. Okay, guys, so that is going to be it for today. Um, I don't know if we'll have a video tomorrow. I actually, I don't think I have a collection to swatch for you guys tomorrow. So if we have one, um, I don't know what it will be. But maybe plan on not, no video for tomorrow. Plus, I'll have Lincoln home all day. So chances are I'll, be, I'll take him to the pool and we'll just be at the pool all day. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me today. I love your company so much. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Maybe this gave you some fun uh, nail polish ideas, some fun things to mix and match with your glitters and all that goodness. Love the polishes and swatches. Thanks. You're welcome. You have a good day too, Riley. Kayla wants everybody to check out her Facebook group. Don't forget that um, I just put up a post today that you can go submit three images for the Facebook group custom. And then make sure to thumbs up any other images that you like because the thumbs up images are the images that will get into the poll. So... You have an awesome day, Lisa. Bye, Aunt Rowdy. Bye, Janista. You're welcome. Bye, Puddle of Duck. Okay.